My name is Studi Gia and I'm a systems engineer at DLP at Texas Instruments. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create patterns, how to load them to the Lightcrafter 4500, and how to run a pattern sequence on the Lightcrafter 4500. To begin this process, you have to go to ti.com slash DLP and download the latest firmware for the DLP C350. Once you've downloaded the firmware, you can install it in the same directory as you've installed the Lightcrafter 4500 GUI. After you've downloaded and installed the firmware, you can open up the GUI. You can see that there's a Create Images tab. When you click on this tab, you can create 24-bit images from smaller bit depth images. This tab allows you to stitch together images between 1 and 8 bit depth into one 24-bit image. So in this example, I'm going to stitch together three 8-bit depth images into one 24-bit depth image of resolution 912 by 1140. You have to select your input file, and you have to specify your output file. Once you have an input and output file, you select the bit depth of the image that you are inputting, and you add it to the output file. Because I'm using three 8-bit depth images, I have to account for an offset of 8-bit planes in between my first two patterns. So for my second input file, I'm going to start it at bit depth 8 and add it to the output file. For the third pattern of bit depth 8, I'm going to add it at the 16th bit plane. Now I have a 24-bit pattern called demo.bmp. Once you have this pattern, you can go to your image slash firmware upload tab. You choose the firmware that you have downloaded from ti.com. It shows you all the patterns that are already on that firmware, and you can have the option to add a new pattern. So I'm going to add demo.bmp to the firmware. Because there are originally 14 images, they go from index 0 through 13. For this pattern, it will be added at image location 14. You click Save Updates to create your new firmware. Once your build is complete, you can browse for your new firmware, and then you can download it to the Lightcrafter 4500. Do not disconnect the Lightcrafter 4500 during this process. Also, this process can take several minutes. Once the firmware download is complete, you can now start creating your pattern sequence. You go to the Pattern Sequence tab, and you also place the Lightcrafter 4500 in Pattern Sequence mode. To create the pattern sequence, you choose your pattern color, you choose your trigger type, you choose the flash index. Because we added to in index 14, I'm going to change that to 14, and because the images we use were of 8-bit depth, I'm going to make it 8-bit depth. Now you can choose the bit planes that you want projected for different colors. So for red, I'm going to choose bit planes G0 through G7 and add it to the pattern sequence. For green, I'm going to choose bit planes R0 through R7 and add it to the pattern sequence. And for blue, I'm going to choose bit planes B0 through B7 and add it to the pattern sequence. Now you're ready to send the pattern to the Lightcrafter 4500. We have now created 24-bit patterns, uploaded new firmware, and created a pattern sequence using the Lightcrafter 4500. For more information, please visit ti.com/dlp or visit our ETE forums. Thank you for watching. Thanks.